welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun, a little bit of sewing of fun. I'll be uh, using my sewing machine. I'm going to make a quick needle book with you, with you all today. So that will be so fun. So get out some lace and fabric or whatever you have on hand and let's make a, a needle book together. I'm going to kind of make it like a vintage looking needle book. Um, it's going to hold, it's only going to have one page. So on the inside, I'm going to put um, lace and pockets. We're going to, I'll show you here in just a second. And then I lightly gave a pink bath to this lace. So it, this um, tool, gathered tool, it's not lace, it's tool. And it's so soft after I gave it a bath. And then this, I used my berry tea for the felt and it came out so beautifully. I mean, the colors are just gorgeous. So you will be able to see the color and it has a light scent. I wish you could smell it. It smells like, oh gosh, it smells like yummy berries. So beautiful smell. Uh, but it's very light and it's mixed berries and it came out like a mauvey pink and it's so pretty and um, I'm going to be using this lace for the inside and then I'll be using this fabric chiffon fabric from uh, Christina gave this to me and it is a beautiful soft fabric with these little dots so pretty and it's a beautiful mauvey pink color as well so and then I'm gonna use these appliques for pockets and I'm not sure if I want to put it there or th like that but probably like this and then um, it's gonna hold some ephemera and it's also going to hold some of this these fabrics that we did the other day uh, on the snippet sash so that will be so pretty I'm gonna put a pin through it and you'll just see let's just make it together so I hope that you all are doing well and um, enjoy the video I hope that uh, this video inspires you to get into your craft room today or your craft area and have some fun and uh, let's get going. All right, so let's pin this together. So I think I want that to be the front. And I like the little bit of wrinkles in it. I think it's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. So I need to add some pins here. So I'm going to most likely glue in the the pockets and the lace around the book. Um, it's just easier for me to to do that. And um, I have a time. I, I, I need to find a, a better way for me to sew in lace around my little books. So that should hold there. So you could, so you could easily, easily glue all this in. You don't have to sew it in. Um, I have glued mine in before and it came out just beautifully. So here is this light pink fabric here. You know, it's so hard to tell if it is I think that's the back, yeah, this is right. So I like that right there. So I'm gonna put two needles here to hold this in while I sew it. So find the easiest way for you to sew in your, your book. And the easiest way for me is to put these needles in to, to hold it in place. 
So I put two on the inside and two on the outside. And then I also and then I'm going to take this beautiful tool and I'm most likely, like I said, going to glue it in like ugh, all the way around. I want to do it all the way around. It's so shabby and so pretty. Seeing that pretty? I love it. Oh, I love it so much. It's so pretty. And it's the palest mauvey pink. So pretty. Just gorgeous. Okay, so I am ready to sew this. I'm going to sew this up real quick. So let me get out my sewing machine. So we finished sewing it and I did have a time. <laughs> so it was this beautiful lace on the back side that kept getting stuck in the corner. So but that's okay. I fixed it. No big deal. Gonna cover it up with some pretty lace or trim and let's get to decorating. Now if I had more pages to put in I would sew a line down in the middle but I don't I don't need to with this book this book is gonna be a vintage feel book and I may have to take a light iron to the wrinkles but probably won't have to I don't know but let's get to put let's let's go ahead and get the pockets put in and the lace all right, so let's go ahead and get this uh, th this fabric cut off here and always save your pretty little scraps for tassels and paper clips and just, you know, you could use it for decorating your tags. Oops. These scissors squeak, don't they? That sounds so funny to me. All right, and then this piece here. So let me cut off some of this thread too. Well, there isn't much left on there. Okay, so let me move all this. Alright, so um, I want the flower facing up. So let's see. Let's put the pockets in first and then put the lace in there. So if we put, because we could actually 
glue the lace on top of the, the, the pocket there, the applique pocket. So if I put that there and there, that's about right, that's perfect. So I wanted the applique to go along with the, I wanted the applique to go along with the journal. So I could have sewed this in, but it's okay. So let's quickly get these glued in. Let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and do this here. And I don't want to use a bunch of glue. Just enough to just glue it down. And yes, I could have sewed the pockets in, but I don't want to see the... I do not want to see the, the the thread, the sewing thread on the other side. And this applique lace stretches pretty good. So how uh, how is everybody doing? Anybody working on any fun projects lately? I know I'm getting ready to do a clutch right after this project, so that will be so fun. I don't know if I want to print the clutch out on fabric yet or not, or if I want to put the journal on the inside of the clutch, you know what I mean? Like sew it into the clutch, or do I want to... Um, or do I want to... Okay, hold on, I'm concentrating. It's, it's so hard to talk and... <laughs> mm, mm, it's funny. I try to concentrate when I'm doing this. Okay, so... Let me see here. Let's go ahead and get the... The lace put on here. This is really pretty fabric. Thank you, Christina, for this fabric. It's so pretty. Just gorgeous. And then this one came from Don Marie. Now, what I might do, what I might even put the lace on the inside to kind of cover up that little mistake where the sewing machine grabbed onto that this lace right here. It's just some of the fabrics are... Oh, and I forgot to mention, what I did with my with my thread is I used pink and I used white. So there's pink and white thread in this book. It looks uneven because of the fabric, but it's not. Let's get the lace on there. And let's see here. So I'm going to start in this corner. And we're going to glue all the way around. I can't believe it is like almost summertime. Like how is the weather at your house? Is it like summer weather already? It's been like perfect weather here the past week oh it's been gorgeous but it's gonna get hot because they're they're saying it's gonna be 80s and I'm like oh no <laughs> it's gonna get hot it's gonna get hot Okay, so I'm not going to put anything on the front cover of this. I want it, I just love the fabric and I love the, the needle book just looking vintage, but I might take an iron and iron out some of the wrinkles. I'm not sure yet. 
Okay, so here it is. Now we're, I'm gonna let this dry for about five minutes before I turn it over. So I need to just get brave and sew my lace in. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Because this is so delicate on both sides, I didn't want to, because I was already having trouble sewing the other one uh, in there. So let, I'm going to let that dry about five minutes. Alright, so I just lifted up the corner of the pocket there. And I'm going to add some glue where I'm going to put the tie. The closure. It looks about even, right? Yeah, pretty close. Then I'm gonna add some glue to here. So this will be such a beautiful, and I could have used hot glue and it would have been instant, but I don't want it stiff. And this craft glue, I'll, I'll link it in my description box is kind of like fabric tack it doesn't glue hard and it dries clear and I just love it and it's it's uh, it's not sticky and I, I love it so let's take a look at this oh my gosh how cute so after this trim dries I am going to add this to the front I decided I'm going to put it on here and I really like the bow kind of like this too so you can see the pink bobbin there I think I'm gonna put that there once it dries and I could even add like I'm not going to glue it on I'm just going to uh, pin it in there so I'll Put some lace on the front there and that'll be so pretty so that will be for the front cover I think I'm gonna do that I think I don't know yet right now I'm just playing around so we gotta we gotta let that dry I'm sure the pockets pretty dry too so I want to add some vintage laces and I'm I brought out some of my mom's um, I could even add this smaller piece in there in the front. I think I really want to do that to just kind of decorate it, but nothing permanent. I have these little rosettes I could add in there. If not, I can put them in the pocket. Let's see, I have these buttons here I want to definitely want to use. So let's, and then. I want to put some ephemera in there, but I'm going to wait till it dries. So let's take a piece of this vintage lace here. Well, yeah, let's take that right there and let's cut it. I know, I know. So excited about it too. And let's add some. Mm, And let's pin it over here. Let's see, I'm going to use a little tiny pearl and I'm going to pin it in here like this. I'm going to try not to pin the front of the cover. See, I kind of avoided the fabric on the front cover. So there's a vintage piece there. I want to put this button here and this one too so pretty all right so let's let's do something like that let's pin it with this fabric piece here so I'm gonna go ahead and take off this one here I like this look at this this is uh, this is what I printed off on fabric so I'm gonna 
I'm going to pin this here, poke a hole. I'm going to let it drape down like that and I'm going to put it I need to avoid the front page if I can so hopefully I didn't go through and I did so let me redo that you see what I'm doing still going through the front page There we go, I think I missed it there. It doesn't feel like it though. Oh, good, okay, good. So I did avoid that there, good, good, good. So that's gonna hang there and I like that. I like the pin there, see? That's what we have so far. And I'm gonna put some fun things inside the pockets. But it's turning out really pretty. And then I was thinking with this is gorgeous. I think I need to put a pin through this. I could even... I'm going to tie some lace right there. I think that would be really pretty. So this one, I think I'm going to put... That went right through there, didn't it? So I need to do it there. I think I'm going to put this down here in the corner. Can you, can you see? So just have fun. And find spots for all your little goodies. There we go. And it already has a little piece of tool. See, let me show you up close. Little piece of tool hanging down there. Some vintage buttons. I think I got that from Sierra goes perfect with this. So this is a cute book so far. I really like the book. It's so cute. Then I was even thinking I could let, let me let me see here. Let me see if I can and you know what I didn't even give you the measurements of my book but I think I measured it earlier. So I was thinking about taking this and this piece of gorgeous vintage lace. Mmm, so yummy. It's a beautiful nude color. I'm going to fold it nicely like that. And I'm going to take Jennifer's digital out of fabric and fold it over, kind of like a lace sample. And I'm going to put it over here on this side. So pretty. And I'm going to take another little pin and go through this. And I'm going to try not to go through the front. Gosh, that's, this fabric is so tough. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, at least you're getting, you're buying good fabric, you know. that's tough fabric okay like that I went through the front but that's okay I'll fix that here in a minute so so cute so I'm gonna tie lace there and fix that I like I'm going to put a piece of lace. Hold on. Okay, so what I did was added my mom's vintage lace behind it to kind of bring in that color with it, with the nude. And then I was wondering if, well, I'll put the ephemera in there later because I need to wrap up lace on that. So let's, let's, uh, Let's do the front now. I really like that. Now I want to put a couple of extra pins in, in there. So I would like to kind of like um, bring it like this. And I'm going to try not to 
come through the cover. I went through the cover, so I'm gonna fix that. I don't wanna go through the cover. No, nope. so I'm gonna have to, I'll figure out something. So, so far we have this. This is so pretty. I love these digitals. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love the pin. I'll put some lace on there. And not only do you get pins, but you get that and you get uh, vintage laces and vintage buttons and fabric and vintage laces here and vintage doily and then in the pockets I'm gonna slide in once these are dry I'm gonna slide in some of these beautiful spools here that Jennifer had in her Nana's sewing room digitals aren't they beautiful so I'm gonna put some yummies on there and then let's take a look at the front See if it's dry enough. I know the, the closure isn't dry enough. Oh, it's so cute to me. So cute. Thank you for coming along. And I'm even thinking about pinning that there. And then putting this here. And then a piece of lace around the, the pin there. So I hope that you like this project and give it a try. Get into your craft room and uh, play around and make your own needle book that, that you'll love using. So thank you for stopping by. I love you all so much. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.